welcome to today's tutorial so today we're solving question uh, 4 from tutorial sheet 4 and this is for uh, G so this question says if the equation this is satisfied by only one value of X what are the possible values of P so here what they are simply talking about is that you can only have uh, in other words what we already know about the roots of equations of quadratic equations you can only have one value of x when you have equal roots so meaning the discriminant uh, is equal to zero so it is if it's only satisfied by one value of x you can use this formula which is the discriminant is equal to zero meaning our b squared minus four sorry minus four ac our b squared minus 4ac should be equal to 0 so b squared our a the, our a is the coefficient of x squared and then our b is this one and then our c is simply just this one sorry so what we need to do first before we uh, find our b uh, c and everything we first need to simplify this i didn't see that there is another thing this side so having known to say our discriminant is supposed to be equated to zero let us first simplify this expression so we know to say we have x squared then we have negative p uh, minus uh, 2 and then we have x this side and then plus 1 we also have when you simplify this and then sorry when you take it to the other side of the equal sign oh sorry sorry so if you have not yet subscribed you can subscribe okay let us uh, just simplify this expression okay so we take this to the other side of the equal sign to be p negative p then we have x uh, minus 2 is equal to 0 so what we can do again here is uh, we open the brackets so when you open the brackets we're going to have x squared minus uh, say negative p if we want we can say plus uh, negative p and then minus I mean plus 2 there when we multiply the negative throughout the brackets and then x then we say minus when you multiply negative p plus x we get negative px and then we say plus 1 negative times negative two, negative p times negative 2 we have uh, plus 1 and then plus plus uh, 2p this is equal to 0 so our value of a is uh, this side then our b is just uh, the combination of this so if you want we can even say uh, we can simplify this by saying x uh, squared then plus so we have this negative p uh, minus p there we can have negative 2p then we have plus uh, 2 there then we put our x outside then plus 1 plus uh, 2p which is equal to 0 so from there we can now use our discriminant to get the value of p so b squared will be uh, our, b our b is this one so meaning b squared will be negative 2p plus 2 and then in brackets we say squared minus 4 our a is 1 and then our c is 1 plus 2 sorry this one is supposed to be p not b 2p then is equal to 0 so here is just a matter of uh, solving this quadratic equation which is simple and straightforward so we, when you simplify this we are going to have uh, 4 uh, p squared 
add and then we have a negative 8p when you simplify this and then plus plus 4 then this will just give us negative 4 then negative uh, then negative uh, uh, 8p negative 8p is equal to 0 so we can see that this and that goes so this will give us negative 16p okay so we have negative I mean we have 4 p squared then we have negative 16 p and then we have this being equated to 0 so from here what you can do is uh, you simply factor out the 4 p then you remain with p minus 4 and then this equate it to 0 so you say 4p so either 4p is equal to 0 or p minus 4 is equal to 0 so from there you can say p is therefore equal to 0 and then this p is also equal to when you take this 4 to the other side of the equal sign it becomes positive 4 so these are the possible values of p so these are the possible values of p yes thank you very much for watching today's tutorial so kindly subscribe to the channel if you have if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and i have a telegram group if you really need one to join or if you really need to join or if you want to join uh, the group you can simply just inbox me i'll add you see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom